Most pregame, postgame shows are boring. The two that are really great are the Fox football guys here, Bradshaw. And that, that's very funny. And, and the Barkley crew, it's very funny. They're so darn good. So here's Barkley getting mad at Skip Bayless last night. Go ahead, play the tape. I don't want to call out certain guys. No, 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 I did. But I Ernie, tried. Listen, Call out. we don't know right. everything about all these sports. We're paid to give our opinion. It's just our opinion. But you don't see me on top like, well, this guy's not a good football player. This guy's not a good baseball player because you don't know anything about baseball or football just because you watch the game. <laughs> I always preface my opinion with, in my opinion, because it's just my opinion. Well, First of all, the reason I love Charles Barkley is because he has super strong opinions and sometimes about stuff like politics he probably doesn't know much about. The reason I love Skip Bayless is because he has really super strong opinions about some stuff he really doesn't know much about. That's why I like them both. Because they're not afraid, they don't play it safe, they don't care what you think, and I think just like musical artists, those are my favorite broadcasters. Charles Barkley, who I love, doesn't like people to have strong opinions about stuff they don't probably know a ton about. That's kind of why I love Charles Barkley. I mean, do I really lean on Charles for his political acumen? No, but when he talks about politics, I'm like, that's pretty interesting. Charles, what I love about Charles, he's not too consumed with being right. Charles just wants to move the football. He wants to be interesting. I always said I appreciated that about Skip Bayless. Skip thinks he's right. Half the time he's wrong, but it's just a sports debate. Who gives a rip? I mean, say it out loud. Sports debate. Who cares?